Thank you. Who could imagine that a near-death experience by my co-founder could give us a global profitable business? That's our story at Achiever Foods Limited. Two years ago, my co-founder, she's called Millicent, she's here. She, I had to rush her to the hospital because she was low in iron. The doctor said she was suffering from acute anemia. So they, after the diagnosis, they discovered that she has to she has to be put on iron. And then also, the advisor which will add turkey berry to her meals. Thank you. So that's Millicent in a hospital. We had to add turkey berry to her meals. And we added turkey berry, and after a few weeks, she got recovered. Globally, WHO has declared 1.62 billion people anemic. And in Africa, up to 1 billion people, we have 57% of the population suffering from the same. In Ghana, where we come from, about 6.5 million women are anemic with high percentage of pregnant women and children. So Achiva Foods has taken this turkey berry plant and we have come up with this amazing product that has been tried and tested and approved that are rich in iron and are purely organic. Within the past eight months, we'll be working on the research, and within the last three months, we'll be able to do a lot of sales and generate a, prof a, a revenue of about $13,000 from sales to just about 50 companies within some parts of Accra alone. In the competition, our products are organic, they are rich in iron, they are tasty and spicy, and consumers can use them at any time, any day, without any problem. Today, we are looking for a revenue of, um, we are looking for a startup capital of about $650,000 to be able to scale up our, our production to reach out to more outlets, about 35,000 outlets, that will generate a profit margin of about $4.5 million in the third year at a profit margin of 72%. In the future, a percentage of our profits will be channeled at eradicating anemia among basic students in Africa. Our team is made up of experts in a field with 24 years combined experience. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Yeah, guys, who are at the back? Is there anyone at the back yelling and screaming? This is, this is really important. So please lower your voices. Go outside, actually. Yeah, that's like better. The Sharda coach. Whoever needs to talk, go talk outside. Yeah. I can tolerate people talking when I'm talking on stage, but I cannot tolerate people talking when somebody else as a startup is pitching on stage. Do not do this to other startups. Clear? Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> that was your advice. No, anyway. Um, okay, so what advice do we have? Again, not, uh, not questions. What advice we want to make this a learning moment? I really, test, I really loved how you opened up with uh, really making it personal. That was wonderful. And understanding the problem. The first slide was a little overwhelming with the problem, <laughs> but maybe that's intentional. <laughs> to really make me feel like the problem is overwhelming. Um, but I would maybe clean that up a little bit to help me understand what, prob what the problem is. I, I kind of got a sense of like general health in the region is your problem. But if there was a specific thing that I, I kind of lost that connection from the story to your co-founder to like the actual problem. Um, so I love that the story is so powerful to me with startups. So keeping that thread going through and connecting that to your solution and then potentially how through this product you continue on like avoiding these kinds of pro and tie it back to the original problem would mean a lot to me. I I'll let him, other people talk about the finances and things. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> finances for you. So um, I'll definitely commend you again. Love your energy on stage. Thank Just you. stop looking at the slides because we really wanted you to look at us okay, and you fine. know everything over there. So you don't need to look at it. You've All got right. a great storytelling right. attitude, so just keep it and utilize on that. Okay. Uh, the second thing is, so your product, basically, uh, what sort of protection do you have? Can I just go and get it tomorrow and like do the same and like come and compete with you, you know? So what sort of defensibility do you have in the market? Because this is like something uh, 
you know, any researcher would come up, you know, and sure. just go and try to do it. So I would love to see that because that's probably where the asset and the money is. Exactly. And that's what any investor would want to know. Okay. So we need to see that. I don't know if you want to give it to us just quickly now, if you have that yeah, part. That. Yep. Yeah, so we are actually in a process of um, standardizing the products in our home country. Um, the certification was already ready by Ghana Standard Authority in Ghana, but then we were not able to pick up the certificate before flying here. So by the time we get back, that will be sorted. With our patent, patent is also on the way. We are we're given two weeks to get it, so I'm sure by the time we get back, we'll have the patent as well. And we have our trade circuits. I'm a, food, uh, I'm a chemist, and uh, Millie Sen, who is my co-founder, she's also a food scientist, so we went through the SOP, the standard procedures to establish the company that was actually uh, um, standardized by the Ghana Standard Authority already. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, I'll put cool. it, I'll put it we in the finance. We have time for one other quick point, if someone has one. Okay, okay, excellent, I'll take your, thank you, right. Excellent.